It's the Tony Rose Morning Show on Sam 100.7. And on the line with us, he plays uh, Joe on the NBC hit show uh, medium. It is uh, Jake Weaver. Uh, Weaver. How you doing, Jake? How you doing, man? I'm doing real good. Man, I know you got to be uh, pumped uh, about this show. It is doing great. People are buzzing about it. What's the vibe in your world about, the, about this hit show medium? I'm more pumped about the Giants. Uh, yeah, you know what? Dude, they got a shot. We'll talk. No, we could talk some football for a second here. No, nah, that's right. What is, no, no. I'll, I, my boss will kill me if you don't talk about the show. I'll, well, I'll, let me just get some quick picks. All right, you like the Giants over the Packers? You want New England again in the Super Bowl, or you want San Diego? It's going to be hard to beat New England. I mean, that team—that's the best team I've seen in a long time. Wow, wow! That, and, you know, the AFC has just been so strong. Yeah, yeah, I, I tell you, but uh, I tell you, it, I would like to see New England lose. I don't know why. I just cheer for the <laughs> underdogs. They always I guess. win. Yeah, exactly. You always want to see Goliath fall, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, and Eli, it's about time Eli start getting some some speaking parts and some commercials, if you ask me. Yeah, about that. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, he's like so overshadowed by his big brother. Yeah, well, it's his time to shine, you know? Well, he's like the quiet, unassuming one. Exactly, yeah. Did he's you see Peyton Manning on Saturday Night Live? That was funny, I've got to admit. Funny was he? That was funny stuff. I, I, what was it? I'll, I'll kill a snitch. I'm not saying I have. I'm not saying I haven't. Oh, that was that's classic, man. Anyway, uh, so uh, is it, now would you do a show like that? Would you do like a show like Saturday Night Live? Would you ever host something like that? I would Dave? only do it if I was drunk. Really? Well, hey, let's do it. You know, <laughs> that's actually what people say about this morning show. I'll only do the Tony Rose morning show if I'm drunk. Oh, you know? I'm, I'm just I'm blotto right now. That's fabulous. I've been since six in the morning. That is what we're talking about right now. Now we're talking Hollywood. You know, that's right. Uh, I'm drunk. <laughs> oh man the show medium it is uh, on tonight uh man tell us about what's uh, what we're getting into tonight on the show uh you're getting into a storyline between patricia arquette and uh angelica houston yeah uh she plays a uh, angelica houston yeah. heads up a uh a private investigative firm right that patricia's character gets uh does a little little uh work for right and she gets involved in her life and her story that is uh um angelica houston's right and then there's another storyline that involves uh, the oldest of our daughters, yeah, um, the very lovely and talented uh, Sofia Vasilieva. Wow, nice pronunciation and, there, by the way. Uh, it took me a long. It took me three years to get that right. <laughs> Man, uh, so did, both those kids are Russian. See, now that's 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 got to be tough. The first time you meet them, don't you feel bad like butchering their name completely? Well, isn't it weird that the, both the, both those both the girls on the show are, are, are from Russia? It's, it is weird. It is what strange. Odd. What a strange coincidence. Right? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, it, I, it, that's, that's why it's a hit, you know, because you get the weird elements in there, and it all comes together. It's like the perfect storm, you know? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, man, Patricia got screwed last night at the uh, Golden Globes, didn't she? Oh, you can't say she got screwed. Really? It's, you know, first of all, this is just a horse race. I mean, who the, yeah. how, do you, how do you, when it comes down to between Glenn Close and Patricia Arquette and those other gals, I mean, they're all fantastic actresses. Yeah. You know, well, I guess I don't, I don't think know. she got screwed. You know, this is this is this is this is an award show. It's it's, you know, Patricia does fantastic, solid work year after year. And right, does Glenn Close. I mean, I don't know how you, how you call that. I would love for Arquette to walk away with as many statues as she can as she can grab. But right. you know, at the end of the day, she doesn't give a toss about that stuff. Wow, wow. And of course, did did you watch any of it last night of the uh, Globes? What was there to watch? Well, it, well, it was actually, you know, honestly, you know, you know, it was one of the most pleasant award show ever. It was over in like a half hour. I loved it. <laughs> it was, it was so pain free. You know, it's just give me the winners, I'm good to go. You know, so yeah, that's all fine if you, unless you're one of the winners and you don't get up there to thank your mom. That's true. That's true. I, I, yeah, yeah, I stand corrected now. Yeah, see, you're calling me out here. There you go. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, the, so the show is medium. It is uh, on uh, tonight, and it is uh, really gaining uh, momentum, uh, to say the least. I, I know it's 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 got to be real positive. What what do people ask you like when you're out just walking around, you know, going to the grocery store and everything, and they run into you, they recognize you from the show? What is like the most popular questions that you get asked? Um, can your wife help me help me find my cat? <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. Whatever works, There's right? There's a lot of requests for finding of lost animals. And, yeah. And then I get a lot of people saying, are you really this nice in person? And I just swear at them. They go away. Yeah, just hit, you know, slap them. You know, just beat them around a little bit. There I'm with go. you, man. I'm with you. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. So uh, Now, how's this sort of writer strike affecting you guys? I mean, how, much, how many more shows do you guys have done? Uh, what's, what's it gonna, what are we looking at here? We got another, I think, eight shows. Oh, wow. And this writer strike is it, it's just a... It's, it's an awful thing. It's affected the entire industry, and it could throw yeah. all of Southern California into a, into a recession if we're not already headed for it. Right. These people are straight up greedy. 
Yeah. About straight up avarice. You got to stand up to bullies, and I'm just glad that the actors and the uh, writers are seem to have some solidarity because if yeah. they don't stick together, they're going to get divided and conquered. And there's a lot of people making a lot of money in this business, and there's no reason why the some of the smaller people shouldn't be sharing in that. And there are a lot of people involved in this who aren't actors, who aren't writers. There are people right. who who do, do run craft service trucks and 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 hump cable and and drive vans and yeah. camera trucks and you know a lot of people with families being hurt by this see i think that's the thing a lot of people don't understand you know they, is they see they just see the actors and they just hear the writers they hear the big names but yeah they don't realize that it's some guy yeah who's got who's got to work that craft service job to, to right. put food on the table and he's out of a job now you know so I every think single show that you see that is not on the air has 300 people working for it unbelievable and they got families yeah yeah so i and well it's one thing if they weren't making any money but the studios are making a lot of money. Oh, yeah. There's money out there. There's definitely money out there. So, well, let's hopefully at some point something will break in this, you know, and, it, and it'll work out because, uh, yeah, like I said, it's not just about TV anymore. It's about food on the table. So, you know, that's the thing. So, hey, well, Jake, thanks for coming on and hanging out with us, man. Seriously, I wish we could spend more time with you, but I know you got a lot of stuff going on. Continue. Best of luck. May 08 bring you uh, nothing but the best, okay? Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you so much. There you go. He is uh, Joe on Medium. Check it out tonight on NBC's Jake uh, Weber right here on the Tony Rose Morning Show and Sam.